As a global society, we are more connected than ever before. In seconds, we can speak to someone on the other side of the earth as easily as we speak to our neighbors. Global trade is massive and thriving, and in some cases more popular than buying local. And all these interactions happen within the noosphere, the atmosphere of human thought in which we are all connected. Anytime you engage others, trading goods or ideas from near or far, you are both participating in and creating the noosphere. How is trade part of the noosphere? Well, trade is an agreement, and therefore, trade is really a conversation. And we negotiate in the noosphere to complete that conversation. In fact, some say all of life is a negotiation, whether between parties or even in your own head. You're discussing and debating what you value. Can I get it cheaper somewhere else? Is this really worth the extra time? Do I want to invest in this person or this venture? Negotiation is the exchange of ideas prior to trade. And it's easy to fall into a win-lose mindset, right? When someone asks what we want, we often think of wanting something and to win or end up on top. And we have emotions and fears around it. If it seems like too good a deal, must be a ripoff. If someone wants something that isn't what you want, you lose out. You have to fight for your own interest in negotiation, right? Because no one else will. Either we watch the movie I want or that you want. Either I win the contract or you do. That's called a distributive mindset. But it's not the only one possible. So what's another way beyond win-lose? It's integrative thinking. We can acknowledge our interconnection at a needs level. Sure, any negotiation starts with what you want, but as we acknowledge our needs, we can look for win-win solutions. I can integrate what you want in our negotiation because the best thing is for us to work together. The best solution is one where everyone is happy. For example, if two people are fighting over who gets the last egg, but one actually needs the yolk and the other needs the whites, everyone can win. That sounds simple, but we know there's more to it. In negotiation, there's often an undercurrent of emotional needs too. If you win what you needed, but the process of negotiation was degrading, it doesn't feel like a satisfying end. You might have a bad taste in your mouth. Dr. Donna Hicks, who studies conflict resolution, says, the main thing that we all share is this profound desire to be treated with dignity. Framing conflict in dignity terms takes us out of the specific conflict and looks at an aspect of our shared humanity that we all want. So at your next negotiation, honor your own dignity and theirs. Ask them to tell you about their needs. Say, I'm interested in finding a solution that works for both of us. You never know what compromise can be made until you understand the other party, what's driving them, and honor both your dignities. Instead of making declarations, ask questions. When you're stuck just demanding the outcome you have in mind, you're not open to a new, different outcome that may be better than you could have conceived, where you get the egg whites you want without dealing with the mess of the yolk that they need. That process, integrative negotiation, is what creates a positive network, a positive noosphere. It takes questioning, patience, setting aside your desires, goals, ultimate vision to explore a space that may be uncomfortable, which may end up better than anyone could have imagined. Remember, inquiry before advocacy and always with dignity. If your goal is mutual victory, not only will you have what you need, but you'll create a stronger, more generous network, which will benefit your relationships, your future trades, 
and our shared global network of connection, the Noosphere.